Hi there, Sons of Cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading for you. You guys, this reading is going to be for the next 48 hours. Thank you so much for all the support. Likes, shares, subscribes. I appreciate it. We're getting into your reading. I like to um, channel your spirit guides, angels, higher self, um, only for your highest, always ascending, ever expanding sign that you are cancer this is the everyday enchantment tarot by the way that i'm using and um i'm gonna shuffle it a few ways first and then we'll cut it all right messages for cancer February 2022 uh, might be in an argument with somebody at the moment may not be talking to somebody um could be um it could be that it's time for something like it's time well we'll figure out what the rest is this is um everyday enchantment tarot and your celtic cross wheel fortune in reverse is all about perspective it's all about how you um, are looking at it because with this, there's a bigger picture. And if you could see from the bigger picture view, you would see that everything has got its perfect placements. It's perfect. Um, we can't see that. And when we're in these really emotional times, sometimes the emotions uh, overwhelm and kind of cloud our thinking um, and its perspective. So it definitely is something turning for you. The Knight of Swords in reverse. <laughs> I like it. This this person on the card is getting like her. It looks like bangs. Maybe she's getting bangs for the first time or something. And it's just kind of, I don't know. There might be a resistance to change too because it's in the reverse. So maybe we're not wanting to change something. Let's see. Let's pull the rest of your cards first. Tower in the past. Golly. Now moment is the Four of Swords, the healing, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, but you have the Nine of Cups, which is wish granted. Oh, wow. And then you have the Lovers. And then you have Four of Cups. You have Four Fours. So you're, you're on the right path. That's always a message with that. And then the Chariot in reverse. If it feels like you're not moving for some reason, know that it's part of this. It's part of this. Um, time, the time is like, I feel like not to be like for, for some reason, this is supposed to be this way, this chariot in reverse, either plans are being called off or, or something like that. The chariot could, could have to do with, um, would be issues with getting moving. All right. We're going to clarify now. We'll clarify. Seven of Swords on the bottom with the Four of Pentacles. Gosh. So there's some conflict. There's some arguing with this Five of Wands. There's people's opinions that seem endless. Right? Everybody has one. Everybody's trying to all say there. It's very scattered and there's like a lack of focus with this energy. A resistance to change. Um, okay with the practice, but not resistance to change. There we go. Lovers twice now. Upright. This is connecting the tower to the five of wands. So this is something about that. About um, in the past tower moment due to arguing between the lovers energy. Um, a partnership. A soul. A soul bond. Um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see. All right, so what's the Knight of Swords in, in the challenge about? <laughs> like, really? <sighs> the Page of Swords. Okay, so needing more information. Um, King of Cups is on the bottom. Needing more information with the Page of Swords. It's 
it's it's saying I think with it being in that position, it's saying you're going to hear a lot of messages, but believe only half of what you hear at this time. Like don't don't be quick to just believe anything. Yeah, there's a truth and then there is the half truths and sometimes that's what we can get caught up in is the half truth. Uh, the Four of Swords is a healing. It's a time out. It's a respite. Maybe it's vacation. What's the Four of Swords clarified by? High Priestess in the reverse. You're getting back into con you're getting back a connection with you and your inner self that maybe you had felt disconnected from your higher self, and and this is bringing in a new chapter with the world here. A, there's a completion, there's a you tapping back into who you are, and maybe it's things being revealed to you about yourself in this healing journey. All right, now Knight of Pentacle in the reverse, it could be a Virgo that feels like they let you down or surprise surprise you it's all about perspective a disappointment is followed by something that will surprise you and it will be considered a wish granted so this is good and it does have to do with the lover's energy i'm gonna say that the road of getting to where you're going feels like it's not moving but it is A disappointment will be followed by the Nine of Cups here. Gemini energy, possibly. Cancer energy, Four of Cups. There's your own energy. What is the Four of Cups about? That's the fear, I believe. Or it could be the hope to go get some time alone and go inside. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, staying inside, hermiting too much and not ever socializing and not ever sharing gifts and and things like that. Let's see what this lovers is about. Is this a crossroads or is this with somebody else? What is this about? Cancer. Oh, that's a good one. The Knight of Swords in the reverse is if you felt like you were stuck and didn't know what to do at a, at a crossroads right now, it's the current environment, the lovers. Um, Listen to your intuition. So right now, get in touch with your intuition. The answers come to you with the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's all about your thinking, keeping your thinking positive, um, and kind of watching negative things go by. And you just let them pass. The Chariot in reverse, not moving for a moment. Why? Got to make a decision. There is a peaceful resolution to come. From a situation that involves either dealing with authority or dealing with somebody who's like an expert in their field. They're very by the book, disciplined. There could be something that some decision that gets made. There's three swords there. A decision. I think it's a decision to stay or split. Um, and regaining control. Hmm. See, the person trying holding the two swords is blindfolded. So, I mean, you can imagine trying to weigh out options, but your eyes are. I don't know. That one doesn't seem easy. What else? <clears throat> Page of Cups in the reverse. So this Queen of Wands, this Aries energy, um, it could be an Aries who may feel like there was nothing they could do or something like that. There's a Page of Cups that is in the reverse and it's representing having kind of a pessimistic outlook. Um, not too hopeful. I think somebody was not too hopeful maybe. Maybe it's you. Oh, Cancer, why do we have you kind of not feeling like yourself with the chariot up here? Not moving. 
It might be part of strategy because I'm seeing the King of Swords. I'm thinking intelligence, logic, strategy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in our head. Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. It's about something from the past that we're still stuck in our head about. We're either judging ourselves unfairly, being too harsh, too critical. Um, but it's like this pattern of thinking, it doesn't want to change. And it needs to change and evolve. Um, because the Page of Pentacles in reverse is just, it's not... It's not going to go anywhere. It'll just be a loop-de-loop. -loop. And there you go with the devil energy. As your um, your doubts, your, um, your confusion, your obsessive thoughts that don't help anything. That's that devil energy. Um, sabotaging energy. Or feeling like you're, if you're putting yourself in a box, you're giving yourself, maybe even unknowingly, a role or a title and therefore a limitation. Getting out of your head, stop believing um, all of those things because when you do uncover your eyes, the water's not that deep. Um, and the space between the swords is plenty for you. All right. Yeah, the nine of wands is in the reverse. There's something that that um, the thinking, the pattern of thinking that needs to be changed uh, to something more positive. So there's a reason for that, and it probably has to do with thinking, I would say. Okay, the playlist. The playlist. Vanessa. Bruno Mars featuring Cardi. When I'm walking with you, I watch the whole world change. Baby, that's what you do. No, my baby, don't play. Blame it on my confidence. Don't blame it on your measurements. Oh, and this one's wanting to come out to Mario Win Winans. I don't want to know. I don't want to know if you're playing me. Keep it on the low because my heart can't take it anymore. And if you're creeping, please don't let it show. Oh, baby, I don't want to know. When I think about it... Um, when I hold you, when looking in your eyes, I can't believe. I don't need to know the truth, baby. Keep it to yourself. And angel number message. 20. 20, I'm harmonious. Relating to others on almost a cosmic level. Um, dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. The ability to persuade others to your point of view using gentle means. I am harmonious. Ooh, 55. Master number 55. Um, substantial change is in your future. Embrace. Um, there's a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fear. Yeah, any of that doubt or limiting beliefs. Um, zero, zero says to pay attention in your environment because the angels are trying to give you signs. It says, open your eyes, listen, and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. I am observant. Okay, and then I'm going to pull one of these too. Um, Sacred Rebels Oracle. Legacy of Light. Seven, part of the legacy of light. Legacy of light. Let me look this up for you. Number seven. It says you're being asked to honor the legacy of light, your sacred birthright. The legacy of light is your spiritual birthright to refine and shine your essence to the world. To be like a sun, radiant and unapologetic of your nature. The oracle legacy of light comes to you when you need to have confirmation um, about a creative choice you might be making or soon to make to see if you're in alignment with your higher self. Um, the legacy of light cannot be ignored without some detriment to your sense of well-being. If you are asking about a particular question and you drew this card, then part of the answer to your question is the issue at hand is of utmost importance to your spiritual growth. Even if it seemed like relatively insignificant question. 
the energy around this matter. Hmm. Unconditional love. Hmm. It says if you're involved in a group project, this oracle is asking you to stay true to, their, to your heart of why you began working together in the first place. Seek assistance, protection, and guidance from a source that loves you unconditionally. And it says, yes, this is part of your life path. Okay. Thank you so much, Cancer. Sending you love and light. Bye, guys.